Hello friends, welcome to my channel Tech LT World. So today we are going to discuss about 5G frame structure. So let's start 5G frame structure. So as as we know that in LT we have only one type of uh, sub carrier spacing that is of 15 kilohertz. But in 5G we have a multiple type of sub carrier spacing numerology. So 5G basically supports multiple type of ranges. Of that particular subcarrier spacing that is from 15 kilohertz to 240 kilohertz with a proportional change in a cyclic prefix uh, duration. So there is there is a change in a, a cyclic prefix duration depending upon that uh, this subcarrier spacing is changing. We can see in a table we have a numerology 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 like that, and according with and in an, in accordance with that the subcarrier spacing changes. That is 15, 30, 60, 120, 240 based on the cyclic traffic duration. So here numerology is basically calculated like if suppose we have a numerology of 0, it means we have numerology 2 into the numerology is basically calculated like 2 to the power numerology. No, no. The subcarrier spacing is basically calculated based on a numerology, and the formula is like 2 to the power numerology into subcarrier spacing. We can see 2 to the power 0 into 15, like 2 to the power 0, 1 into 15, that is 15 kilohertz. If we'll talk about numerology 1 then the subcarrier spacing will be 2 to the power 1 multiplied by subcarrier spacing 15 kilohertz that is 2 into 15 that is 30 kilohertz for numerology 1 if we'll go for numerology 2 then 2 to the power numerology into subcarrier spacing of that is 15 kilohertz 2 to the power 2 that is 4 into 15 that is 60 And like that, if we'll go to numerology 3, it will 2 to the power 3 into 15. 2 to the power 3, it will come at 8. 15 into 8, 120. So like that, we can calculate for the numerology 4 also, that what could be the subcarrier spacing. Now we can see in this particular picture that our total subcarrier will be 12 on one resource block. The only thing that is changing here is the subcarrier spacing that you can see for numerology 1, it is like 15 into 12, that is 180 kilohertz for numerology 0. But for numerology 1, we can see. The subcarrier will be like 12 only, but the subcarrier spacing is changing from 15 to 30. Now 13 into 12, it will be 360 kilohertz. Like that, if we'll go for numerology 2, the subcarrier will be same 12 subcarriers, only the subcarrier spacing that is 60 is changing for this particular numerology. Like that, you can see for numerology 3, for numerology 4, it has been given. Now, let's go to the supported channel mapping with the numerology. So, it's not like that every numerology can be used for the every physical channel. So, it has been like, it has been categorized, like numerology has been specified as per the certain type of physical channel. But which kind of physical channel is used for which kind of numerology? So in table we can see for numerology 0 that already we have discussed about the subcarrier spacing. The supported for the data, the supported for data you can say the channels like PDS, SCH and PUSCH. So for this numerology 0, yes it is supported. For 1 it is supported. 2 it is supported, 3 it is supported, but for 4 it is not supported. Likewise, 
supportability of the synchronization the pss sss and pbs pbch we can see for 0 and 1 it is supported and 3 and 4 for 2 it is not supported so this is basically the table uh, for the mapping of how the channel is related to the numerology now let's come to the next topic that is numerology radio frame structure and the slot length so now we can see that uh, this slot length is basically depending upon the numerology we have a table for that particular we can see in next slide so the main bullet point is increasing in the subcarrier spacing will decrease the slot length these are basically the bullet points which will which we'll see in next slide that how exactly this lines are justifying so the points are slot length change uh, change depend upon the numerology like when the subcarrier spacing will be increasing the slot length will go on decreasing and symbol per slot will be same based on based on the slot configuration like if we have a zero configuration configuration zero then the number of symbols for the slot will be 14 and when the configuration will be 1 it will be 7 so let's see on the next slide yeah here we can see that what, what, what I have discussed before like the increase in the subcarrier spacing will decrease in the slot length see the subcarrier spacing is increasing as per the numerology like for 0 for 0 15 kilohertz for 1 30 kilohertz like increasing in the subcarrier is facing we have a decreasing in the slot length 1 ms per slot 0.5 ms per slot 0.25 ms per slot when we have a 60 kilohertz subcarrier is facing when we have 120 it is like 0.125 ms per slot and we have a 240 then it will be 0 0.0625 ms per slot and we have a table for that particular number of slot symbol will be same for all the numerology that is 40 that is configuration 0 which i have already discussed before and the number of slot in frame it will be changing like you can see 10 20 40 80 and 160 likewise subframe number will be also changing 1 2 4 8 and 16 now we can see the clear picture of this frame structure how exactly uh, this is changing we can see one radio frame which is of 10 subframe 10 slots that is of 10 ms so one subframe when we are taking one subcarrier equal to 15 kilohertz then one subframe equal to one slot that is of one ms and one slot 14 symbol that is one ms you can see here by picture we can it's clear but when the subcarrier increases from 15 to 30 then what are the changes we can see we can see the one radio frame will be same that is of 10 subframe the slot will increase it will become 20 slots like we can see one subframe is equal to two slots that is of one ms and here the you can say it's 0.5 ms slot time we can say it's changed from point, point 0.5 ms likewise for 16 for 60 kilohertz we for one subframe we will be having four slots and that it will be changing from 0.5 ms to 0.25 ms and likewise for 120 ms for 120 kilohertz subcarrier spacing and for 240 kilohertz subcarrier spacing so if you go much more details by your own you will figure out all the all the above three slides which i have gone through like the subcarrier spacing and the numerology radio frame structure slot length so this all are interrelated so please go through this if any doubt this comment if any correction i need to do this comment you are welcome for all this
so thanks for today keep learning keep sharing